If you're considering adding just one club to your bag this year, then I suggest you make it this one because I guarantee it will make golf considerably easier than it is right now with your current setup. The club I'm referring to is from the new Ping G430 lineup and while all the noise has been about the new driver releases, I suggest you push that to one side for a little while and take a little look at this. If you put this club in your bag, I guarantee it's a type of club that all your mates are all of a sudden going to start inquiring what that is that you have in your bag. And my only advice would be, tell them absolutely nothing and keep this thing a secret. Now, as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of lofted fairways and lofted hybrids for that matter, and certainly been something that I've added to my bag over the last 12 months. And I cannot tell you how much easier it has made part of the game and this is no different in fact no it is very different because ping have just released a fairway wood that to me is an absolute game changer and i swear to god anybody who tries this club i challenge you not to put it in the bag because it does something that is absolutely ridiculously good but before we go any further, then let me tell you what exactly this fairway wood is before I go on to tell you about why I think it's so special. It is in fact the G430 nine wood. Can you see that there? Yes, nine wood, 24 degrees of loft. You already know, like I said, that I'm a fan of seven and nine woods, but this thing gets the ball from A to B. First of all, incredibly easy, and then it ticks all the parameters in terms of performance attributes you'd look for incredibly well all of the time. Yeah, this thing is almost foolproof. Trust me, every time I hit this thing, it does one thing. It goes straight, it goes high, and it gets there with a spin number, a descent angle that is absolutely unbelievable. And I know for a fact it's gonna suit pretty much every damn golfer out there. But before I go through some numbers and tell you why I think this thing performs exceptionally well, because ultimately that's what you are going to perhaps switch to this type of club for, I still think you've got to buy with your eyes. And from a shelf appeal perspective, I think Ping have done a real good job in really only tweaking G425. They've added a little bit of colour, that little bit of lime green, but visually they just look, I think it's kind of hits the spot in terms of it's not too garish, it's not too plain. It just sits in the middle and very much appeals to the masses, which I think what Ping are very good at doing. But it's from the top side, which I think they've done a real good job again in terms of the crown. It sits so nice at a dress. You do not do nothing. You just plant that club down and straight away you're in a very comfortable position. It sits quite shallow, which is something I like about what Ping have always done with their fairway woods. And then the scoring lines again across the club face really frame the ball well. So you've got this void in the middle, white either side, and it just tells you exactly where your ball position should be in terms of center of the club face. And that single dot on the crown again is a perfect alignment aid. So simplicity at its best. <clears throat> in terms of technology, this carbon crown features in all of the fairway woods again, which has took a lot of weight out of the crown itself and allowed them to distribute it elsewhere. And trust me, it's had an incredible impact on the way these things perform, in my opinion. But then there's one other thing that is very, very noticeable in this new lineup from Ping in the G430. And I don't know whether you can pick it up in here, but it is the sound and hallelujah. Thank God Ping have finally addressed, which was a major bugbear for me in all my reviews. The one thing I would complain about in terms of uh, Ping uh, woods, drivers, fairy woods, hybrids was how harsh that sound was. And finally, I can say, Ping, you have done it. You have softened that blow. Let's see if we can pick that up. And it's a bit more harsh inside here than it is outside acoustically, but trust me, it's a huge, huge change. So aesthetically, superb, look brilliant, look great in a bag. How pleased would you be to have that sat in your golf bag? But then acoustically, they've done it in terms of sound and feel. So what about that performance? Why is this so good? And why should it be in every golfer's bag, in my opinion? 
Well, the first thing this club does incredibly well is that it is consistent. It's consistent across all parameters, which is always key. So what I found with the numbers that I've achieved is that my carry distance has been very, very good indeed. So front to back, dispersion numbers have been very tight indeed. That number being, and I'll glance over to the laptop and hopefully you've got these numbers in front of you now, a, an average carry distance of 177. Lowest number being 174 at a glance and the highest being 181. And traveling this kind of distance with the kind of swing um, in frequencies, I'm going to call them, that I have, that is very consistent. The ball speeds, again, very, very consistent indeed. And then you look at this, which is launch angle. And this is the bit that is incredibly useful for many average golfers because every time you see me hit this ball, you'll see me look one way and that is up into the sky because this thing goes into orbit. That's a massive help for a lot of golfers because don't forget, you're going to be using this as perhaps a five iron equivalent. A five iron is a real difficult club for us to generate enough club head speed to get the ball airborne and get a decent launch. This thing is launching on average at 20.3 degrees. Now to put that into perspective, that's a similar launch that I achieved with my seven iron, but I'm getting a distance covered the same as my five iron. So put that into some kind of perspective. That's an incredible launch angle. You then look at the descent angle. So not only is this thing going, down, going up in the air extremely high, it's coming down with snow on. And its descent angle is like no other number I've seen. 47.7 degrees in terms of descent angle. You couple that then with an average spin number of almost 4,600 revs. What does that mean? Well, what it means is it's going up extremely high, it's coming down very steep, it's spinning and it's stopping. So what that means is when you're playing into greens and 180 par threes and such like, you know that this is a club that you can rely on that is gonna come down and it's gonna stop on a sixpence. And that is key. It's a very difficult part for us to do because like I said, me playing that same equivalent iron, a five iron, the launch angle will be uh, lower. The descent angle won't be as steep. The spin number won't be as high in my case as a five iron. And therefore, I'm having a lot more difficulty in stopping that ball on the green. So they are parameters and numbers across all the board. Peak height of 36 yards, again, just tells you how high that ball is. These are the kind of numbers that tell you that this club is an absolute no-brainer. Why would I possibly put a five iron in the bag? You could argue that this ball flight is actually almost too high in many cases. That's the only negative that you would perhaps throw at it in windy conditions, then maybe you'd struggle a bit. But what I'm talking about is getting to a ball where I've got loads of confidence, standing at a dress, love the way this looks, love the way this sits. I'm gonna put half a swing on. That was a rubbish swing as well, and that ball has still gone straight, it's still gone up in the air, it's still gone down range, it's still doing everything that I want it to do. Can I do that with my five iron equivalent? The answer is no. And I'd argue that there are very few fairway woods out there that can do this kind of job as well as what this Ping G430 does. And it also sounds good. Ping, you have hit the button with this thing. Now it's very easy for me to drag this one out, but I think we've said enough, I think we've shown enough, and I think it's demonstrated purely why I think this is uh, a club that you should try, then I think you should keep it a secret from your pals because don't let them in on this. The other point to mention is just how much variety there is in the fairway woods open to you from Ping this year in that G430 lineup. So if the nine wood doesn't fit that void in the bag, then I would think you'd have a look at the five, the seven wood equivalents. And again, give them a try because uh, if the performance of this is anything to go by, then I think they've got a winning lineup as ever do this incredibly well. Right, that's me done. I thoroughly enjoyed just hitting them few balls with this this morning. It's, uh, like I said, so, so good, this thing. Um, what I want to know is this. Um, in certain parts of the world, this club has been out for quite some time, which is a little unfair, but if you've one of those countries and you've tried this club, then please let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, from 
anybody else that's thinking of adding a club to the bag this year, then let me know if you think this might be something you would consider adding and uh, are you going to give it a try? Right, for now, thank you for watching. I'm glancing around to see what's next because I'm so confused. There are that many clubs that I'm trying right now. Uh, but no doubt I've got another video coming to you tomorrow night. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Make sure you're getting involved in those comments. Thanks as ever for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow night.